Iranian Ayatollah says women on bikes ignite men's sexual desires. So Iranian Ayatollah Ahmed, um, uh, oh my goodness, Alum, Alamul Hoda. Um, let me, I need to see, oh, Ahmed Alamahdi. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, said in a sermon that Hamid has said it is forbidden for girls and women to ride bicycles in the vicinity of men of whom they are not related. Uh, say that name one more time for me. Doesn't matter. Just <laughs> okay. He said that the purpose of this is to protect women's honor and to prevent men from having sexual urges. He said that it is the job of the municipalities to establish parks and areas for women's only exercise. He added, quote, for a girl to ride a bicycle on the roads in university turns her into a fire that ignites young men's sexual urges and it makes universities a center of corruption. This is something we will fight against, end quote. Okay, first of all, this guy's name, even though he's Iranian, his name is in Arabic because, of course, he's fucking religious. Uh, and that's why Persian, you know, obviously his name is going to be Arabic. So I, my pronunciation of it is probably worse than yours. Oh, okay. um, Yeah, so I don't know. But, um, okay, so he's saying that women on bikes ignite men's sexual urges. I gotta ask, have you ever been sexually ignited by a woman riding a bike? Well, I get sexually excited <laughs> by women doing by women doing technically anything. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Yeah, but so he's right, is what you're telling me. He's right. Yeah. But Armin's not an Armin is a reasonable human being who can control himself and we don't have to I don't treat know him about like that. a child. I've had some <laughs> And so I'm saying it's this kind of stuff is, in my opinion, not only is it degrading to women, it's sexist and degrading to men, too. It is. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, to, to be fair to him, he um, riding bikes is pretty sexy for women. <laughs> but there's all kinds of things that are like that. Right. I don't know. It's just um, anything to do with the legs really pisses them off. Like the um, girl who was a medalist and won a medal for Taekwondo, she was like shamed for being told that she shouldn't do any sport that causes her to spread her legs or whatever. And I'm like, she's kicking ass. Like, God damn. <laughs> um, yeah, and I feel like this kind of attitude like you can only exercise in segregated areas like hyper sexualizing it makes you think about these things way more sexually than you ordinarily would um even though you might just find like any typical activity like you know kind of like sexy like it it deepens that idea that you have to view it that way um it's just ridiculous um, i think you're right especially because you're told all the time you yeah. know yeah. You know, like, oh, if this happens, it has to do with sex. If you see this, you have to think like this. I rem <laughs> don't, Rivka, don't let me distract you with the live chat. So. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, oh, hilarious. Though. I'm reading the comments. I can't help yeah. it. Um, I remember this something I read one time. They were uh, filming a m movie about Afghanistan and Iran and the 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 filmmakers wanted to do something for the village that they were working in and the women didn't have a hammam, a bathhouse. So they wanted to make one for them hmm. and they refused because the men in charge said no, because men might walk by the women's hammam and they'll know that they're naked inside there. Oh my God! So just no. knowing, just knowing right, that they're because if they have one, then they'll know that they're naked. And so the men had one, but there wasn't one for the women. And so they compromised by making a pump, so they could pump water and giving them buckets that was closer to all the homes, so they didn't have to walk really far, so they could take their baths or their showers and wash at home instead of the bathhouse because. They were just dead set against that. So there's your point. I mean, oh technically, technically, they should be against anything because they can just think, oh, women are naked inside their clothes. Exactly. 
Okay, just, <laughs> just before people think like I'm agreeing with this guy, I'm only agreeing with the first part of what he's saying, right? <laughs> you're not agreeing no no because i think like some people might get the wrong impression i think okay so he's saying <laughs> women on bikes are sexy and that's a bad thing i'm saying women on, on bikes are sexy and that's a good thing okay it's yeah. the major the major difference i mean come on guys imagine like a girl with the short skirts on a bike and every time you know, we you know, know Armin. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> like, I, biking in a skirt is a terrible idea, but live your no, fantasy it's king. A great okay. idea. Uh huh. It's a yeah. Great uh huh. Idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyone on a super chat from Soraya? Oh, <laughs> okay. Show Pam Whoa. your. No, we that's. Got Show Pam, your mic is doing like weird stuff. I don't know. Soraya just gave us a hundred. I, don't I know. know. What. That's why I said, whoa, hundred. It's not that much. Kind of other money. It's not that much. It's, I'm it's, ready. Oh, it. come on! It's probably a lot for you know. <laughs> no, it's good. No, Soraya, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm I'm Ru Indian rupees. Soraya, thank you so much. Thank Soraya. you. That, am I saying it right, Soraya? His real name is not Soraya, but yes. Okay, no, it doesn't matter. As long as well, I'm you're sure. not supposed to. All right. No, All right. no, I was kidding. I was kidding. It's good. No, we very grateful. Thank you. No, no. But okay, <laughs> here comes the good one. This is what the one we. Hold on, hold oh on, yeah, on. and yes, Michael Armin is agreeing with everything that he's saying. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 